What is up, fam? Welcome back to Lisa Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Sagittarius Zodiac sign. We're going to tap in and see what messages that there are that you need to hear. Okay, let's see. What messages does Sagittarius need to hear? What is it that Sagittarius needs to hear? What messages do Sagittarius need to hear, please? What messages do Sagittarius need to hear? We have the Truth card. Okay. What messages does Sagittarius need to hear, please? We have the transformation card here. One more. What messages does Sagittarius need to hear? And passion. All right. Bottom of the deck is good luck. Okay, so luck is on your side, Sagittarius. Let me turn this. These blinds here. I got the sun in my eyes here. Okay, we're going to clarify with the Gilded Royale. Guys, just remember this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can't hurt. And if you need to, please flip them. All right, let's clarify the truth card here for Sagittarius. What's this truth card about? Oh, we have Ace of Swords coming in reverse. Okay, clarify the truth card here for Sagittarius, please. And the Six of Swords coming in reverse. Okay, Ace of Cups. Sagittarius, the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse. This tells me that there's a situation that you're lying to yourself about. You're, it's like you're telling yourself you've moved on from it or you, you've moved past it, Ace of Cups. But you're still in the energy of manifesting it here. It's like you're still in the energy of manifesting this love. Okay? And I feel like with this Ace of Swords being in reverse, either either you're lying to yourself or somebody's lying to you or you're lying to this person. Either or. All right? But I feel like there's um, a situation that... Because the Six of Swords in the upright is about moving forward into calmer waters and things like that. But with the Six of Swords in reverse, this is telling me that um, somebody is not wanting to move forward. They're not wanting to move past this here. Okay. And I feel like if that is you, then you need to really go within and reflect on that and figure out and, and just really be honest with yourself here. Okay. Be honest with yourself. Clarify the transformation card here for Sagittarius. Clarify the transformation card here. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. What the heck? Clarify the transformation card for Sagittarius, please. And the Nine of Swords in reverse. And see, I'm y'all, most all of my cards are in the upright. So when they come out in reverse, I always take them that way because I feel that spirit way of wanting to give the message that needs to be give, given. So it's it's weird that these are all four of these came out in reverse. So the transformation card is letting me know there's some type of transformation that you're needing to go through, but I feel like you're um you're kind of halting it. Like you're you're keeping it from happening because I have the 10 of wands in reverse and then the 9 of swords, right? And the 10 of wands, you know, in the upright it's about being at the end because it's a 10 but with it being in reverse that's telling me you're still dealing with this overwhelmingness this overburden you're still carrying this here and the nine of swords in reverse this is letting me know that there's still because the nine of wands in upright is like you know stress and things like that but with it being in reverse i feel like you're not dealing with it because you don't want to stress about it. Like, it's like, you know you need to do it, but you don't feel like stressing about it. So you're not trying to deal with it. You're kind of pushing it off. You may be keeping yourself busy with other things here. Seven of Cups. Other things or other people. Let's get one more here for this transformation. And the moon. Yeah, the moon in reverse. Okay. The High Priestess. If this isn't you, Sagittarius, and this is a person that's connected to you, but I feel like this is you, okay? If you don't go through this transformation, it will eventually come. Just know that if you haven't been doing the inner work here, okay, and you've been trying to just distract yourself with other things, then eventually this is going to come. If you haven't done the healing or you've been holding on to a person or a situation, um, it's going to come to the surface. It's not going to stay beneath you that long because I feel like you're putting it off because it's too much to deal with right I feel like you're, you've been putting it off because it's way too much to deal with but just know with the moon being in reverse all of this is just going to come to the surface eventually okay and you're going to eventually have to go through this transformation Saggy okay the the with the um high priestess being here this this lets me know you're kind of keeping this to yourself you may not be admitting 
to people because again the truth card is here and then the ace of swords came in reverse you may not be admitting to people that this this is what you're going through because you're kind of like you're pushing it down right like hey if i push it down i push it away tuck it away i don't have to deal with it right now but eventually you're going to have to when you when you have to go through a transformation you have to go through it right it's just like a caterpillar going into the cocoon they can say all day they don't want to go into that cocoon but they eventually have to go in that cocoon because they have to go to that next phase so that they can turn into the butterfly right so I feel like that's what you're doing, Sagi. You're kind of pushing this down and you're like, no, I really don't want to go through this. I don't want to deal with this right now. But eventually it's going to bubble to the surface. OK, clarify the passion card here for Sagittarius. Eight of Swords. Clarify the passion card here for Sagittarius, please. The Hermit and the Magician. OK, some of you need to go into hermit mode. I'm telling you this here, the tower, the will of fortune, because things are going to change. And if even if even if you don't want it to, it's going to happen to the tower is about the universe stepping in. OK, the universe will step in and knock this ish down that you've been trying to put off. I'm telling you now the eight of swords, the hermit and the magician. OK, eight of swords is about mental conflict. All right. So I feel like you're you're trapped in your head about something. You're overthinking. And what you really need to do is go into the hermit energy, go into solitude and take some time to yourself. Uh, you know, do some self-reflection here, some uh, moon, some dark, some uh, dark work, some dark shadow work and things like that. Well, I don't want to say dark shadow work, some shadow work. You want to do some shadow work where you do that healing so that you can manifest exactly what it is in that positive energy that you have, Saggy. OK, because the passion card is here. This is like your energy. This is the fiery energy. You want to manifest in that energy, in your passions here. And you're not going to be able to until you resolve this. Okay. And even if even if you keep saying, I'm going to put it off, I'm going to put it off, it's going to hit you. It's going to bubble up. It's going to. I see the Two of Cups, bottom of the deck. Two of Cups is about alignment. It's also about twin flame connection. So if you, for a lot of you, you're looking back on the past, you're looking back on a past connection here. That there's a lot of regret, a lot of uh, looking back and, and remembering things, you know, going through things, contemplating that type of energy. And a lot of you have not healed from that or you have not gotten past that. You're still kind of in this energy of, is it possible? Like you st you're still holding on and you haven't quite let go yet. And so just know if, if you're trying to distract yourself with other people or other situations so that you don't have to resolve this hurt or this pain, that ish is going to come to the surface eventually. OK, if, if you're in a relationship with somebody, it's going to bubble to the surface and it's going to cause conflict. If you're um, because you're, you're not doing the proper healing that you need to, it's going to just cause issues. And I feel like some of you are just holding on to this possibility here that it will come back. It's like you're holding on and you're just not letting go. You're just kind of ignoring it. That's what I'm getting. You're holding on, not letting go, just ignoring for now. You're like, oh, it'll be all right. I ignore it for now. Let's see. What would let's get one more for the truth. Clarify the ace of swords, six of swords. What's gonna happen with this truth card here? Ace of swords. Yeah, justice and eight of wands here. Okay. Justice and eight of wands. This whatever this is, the justice card that's like, you know, uh karma happening or a situation happening. I feel like some type of conversation or messages is gonna come in and it's gonna feel like love arrows. It's gonna be quick movement. I feel like this is what you're waiting on. Like you're you're really waiting on this. Whatever this is to come in, you're waiting on this here. Look, the Strength card, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Yeah, you're waiting on this. You haven't really closed this off yet, whatever this is. You're waiting on the right... It's like you're waiting, you're waiting on the right time. The right timing for this to happen. And the moment that it happens, I feel like it's going to make your day. Like it's going to... This is what you're waiting on. So a lot of you, you're waiting on communication from a person that you're still holding on to and you haven't let go of. And I, it's going to come, but it's going to come in divine timing, right? So I feel like you're, you're, you haven't healed from it because you're, you, you're kind of pushing it down. You're like, nope, I'm going to let it stay in the bottom here. I'm not going to bring this to the surface. But eventually it's going to bubble to the surface. It's, it's going to eventually come up because you can only hide something within for so long before it pops up, you know. But uh, let's see, what other messages do you have for Saggy? What other messages do you have for Satch here? What other messages do you have for Satch? Patience, look. <laughs> and luck. So luck is definitely on your side. Flowers, be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Yes, they are. 
and patience. Slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. See, a lot of you, um, a lot of you are like, the energy that I'm getting is like a lot of you are getting in situations or getting becoming busy with situations to distract you. And what you really need to be doing is focusing on healing. Okay. And because of that, that's why you're still, you still haven't closed off this situation here. You're still kind of waiting for that communication to come in. And I feel like you're being patient with it. You're like, yeah, it's eventually going to come in. Cause I feel like your, your intuition is kicking in telling you that it's going to come, which I see it coming. It's just not coming right now. And so that's kind of why I feel like you're not, um, healing this or going within the heal okay we also have luck you're right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead so you know <laughs> with the magician that you can manifest something you know you have the power to do that right because you're i mean you have the strength the courage the confidence to do that you have the power to manifest that but uh there is something you do need to heal and you need to transform from here with this transformation card all right but um again if you keep pushing it down, you're not going to be able to heal from it. Or if you you keep lying to yourself saying I'm past it, you're not past it. You're still holding on to the if, shoulda, coulda, maybe possibility. It will come in, right? Which in divine timing is a possibility. Yes, it will come in. But um, do you want to still be broken when it comes in? Or do you want to be fully healed and it can become something beautiful, right? So this is your reading, Sag. I hope this gives you some clarity and insight. I appreciate you so much for watching. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.